Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop today. We got no time for chip chatter, like a bull at the open gate. This uh, doing this comeback offset, wherein I offset the utter futility of my existence by uh, doing something nice for somebody. Uh, grab the tools. We're on an away mission. Don't leave home without them. Might even need these. Bigger bowls, the better. No account for some taste. I think we're looking for the two incher. Now the fun part. Shop crummy room. <laughs> A little hair around that. Shop crummy roulette. Will she start? Or won't she? Woo! Even though David Diamond was huh? deeply FM subversive, radio, AC, by many conservative got the Americans. CBC just a crank. His music stayed alive? It ain't Rich Stir Fry. Stay? See other fella. He ain't teabag. Don't get me started on the CBC, but whilst I'm paying the taxes, I might as well get some culture. The best part about this thing... Oh. Oh, does the brake controller work? Oh. No lock on the hitch. Lock on the battery. Uh, of course. Oh, it doesn't appear to be particularly skookum. Might be able to finagle that out of position. Well, that's convenient. Keeps spare roach clips in the battery compartment. This is interesting. Oh, the green death in white form. That'll do, pig. I think it's got no brakes, and chances are it's the connection. But while we're in here, we'll just go ahead and tighten up all the screws. Or in this case, bust a nut depending on your disposition. Eh, not wrong with that. We slightly inveigled by the looseness of her hips. We'll get in there with a probe. Yeah, tighten her up half a stitch. If and you recall your kindergarten seven wire code, if I'm not mistaken, let's see here. This guy is brakes, this one is aux, and this guy is ground. I was mistaken, that's the aux there. That means one of these, I think this one up here is ground, and then this will be the <laughs> batteria. So it's a good thing we checked with the volts because we would have fried the meter if we had it on the ohm scale, and stuck it in the wrong hole. So now that we know to avoid this hole, we can go ahead and put it in ohms. Now in the ohm scale, we're just gonna walk our way around. Do not stick your probe in there. There'll be uh, the spits and sparks and then dust blinking lights and so forth. I think that's ground, so that should be zero ohms and the rest of these will be through the battery lights and the brake solenoids so between yeah say two ohms and four ohms there are ground surprisingly right where i said it to be that is our trailer brakes oh crusty the thing is about trailers is they come with factory wiring all fucked up it, 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 they don't last but two summers before they're completely hoopa juped. I should probably clean that out. They're fucking contorted, single-handed, underneath the truck in the dark. It's like the first time I had sex. I fucking get gassed out too. Blah. Oh, old clunky trucks with the gasoline. Come on. Go to your home. Apparently helps if you try and stick it in the right hole. You just turn the hat. Yeah, okay, blinkers are working. Parallel brake controller is not working, but neither is the aux plug. Not getting any power to the uh, charging circuit, so this <laughs> weeble wobbling around does not inspire a whole lot of confidence. We're gonna have to get a different truck or, uh, well, fix this one. Yeah, I can't tell the difference on or off. Nothing for it. Gotta hitch her up. I don't think it's supposed to work that way. Ha! 
victory. I often ask myself why good things happen to bad people, but it's the worst kind of fault. Intermittent. Now it fucking works. So we gotta go all through the Jesus thing, hunting for gremlins. And yeah, while we're at the shop, we'll go ahead and factory delete that speaker wire abortion. Lumex. Yeah, two, uh, two conductor trailer cable uh, hanging down there. I may be laying in the ditch, but I'm looking up at a trailer. What is it with trailers and the Jesus wiring? Constantly fucking. It's like, yeah. Have I told you what a pain in the cunning linguals trailers are? Okay, so we got the plug here, and as I showed you there while I was driving, it was working just fine. Now we got this little dingle ball, what runs to the battery, unfused, uh, and this is the pull away brake. So if you break free of your ball and your trailer goes for a fuck off, this thing pulls out and uh, slams on the binders that's a blue wire going back here and we also got a blue wire uh, coming from the plug along the frame rail over to in here fucking maret of course well, that doesn't look tea bag she looks pretty fresh no too much green death but you'll notice they're not connected they, they didn't get twisted together proper in the Marat. Now here's a real fuck around. We got a glob of sticky glue and the wires worn right through. Yeah, you see that? We got to cut the cancer out. And just to be on the safe side, what we'll do is disconnect the battery. We'll just go ahead and... Hey. Oh, fucker. By the power of preschool or All right, I'm a little box of tricks here. Everybody needs a proper box of tricks. We got these non maret marets. They're just crimp-ons. Marets, the uh, twist-on lugs. I don't know what you call them in the States. They don't work for automotive application. Too much rattling around. It's just not. Eh, click. And then after you butt spliced them, crimped them, whatever you want to call it, you gotta check each individual wire, make sure she's in there good and proper. Give them a tug. If they tug, one little tug and they come. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what in the fuck? Some sort of telephone PBX data connector. <laughs> yeah. Just no. 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 Hey, baby doll, say hi to the kind folks. Hi, folks. You come to pick me up? Yes. Yeah. Woohoo, getting picked up by Hot Chick. When did this come? Oh, I picked it up uh, this afternoon. I gotta fix the wiring for. Uh... Oh, just with the old truck? Yeah, just with the crummy. Oh, wow. And uh, check engine light started uh, blinking, so that's fun. Oh, no way. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah, just the cat. <laughs> there you go. Man, you're a smart lady. Oh, yeah, this fucking thing. That's we ought to fix her. Some of why, you know, he got all Twitter painted there. Something about a beautiful woman in a sundress. Kind of like them yoga pants. Except, of course, for the yoga pants would have never been to yoga. <laughs> Let's, uh, as she come up to temperature, let's get this fixed up out of the shop. These low voltage automotive applications kind of blow me away because this is factory wiring here. You see by it going, it's going through a grommet, yay, and it's, yeah, you can see it's factory like this, but it's essentially bare builder's wire. There's no loom, there's no, you know, this has at least got a, a wee bit of a jacket on it, this stuff that they put in after the fact. This is the repair here, but this is factory, just bare. We were wobbling against the steel because it's negative ground. This is the same potential as the battery terminal. I just got a wire running right over top of it. It's kind of give your head a shake, but I guess uh, 
They make them cheap for a reason. We got my finest boa constrictor digest on a pig here with the white phasing tape, a little fancy. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some more zap straps on there. No good deed goes unpunished, zap straps included. We are going to provide a professional courtesy for the next guy, because the next guy is probably gonna be you. Cut off that razor sharp little edge there with flush cutting side cutters so that you get your arm in there in a greasy old hole and you don't get cut right to ratchet. Done at a bonds, huh? Right? No. Wrong. No repair. No fix is complete until you test and prove the fix. We're going to make sure that the positive is not shorted to ground. Here's the ground. Here's the positive lead. What would normally go on here? Eh. Multimeter. Ohm scale. We could even do this. Okay, so we are good. We're not shorted to ground. Nothing's gonna catch fire. So we can go ahead. We did our idiot check. We can go ahead and mount that to there and then take it for a little spin. <laughs> Charging, but uh, still not happy. And whoop. What is this? A clue. This repair was done by a professional. You tell the connection, the, the butt crimp. It's got the hot snot and the heat shrink. Have a look at that. Those connectors are probably a buck, two bucks a piece. I wasn't a home gamer done that. And that's just the right turn signal too. So, yeah, unfortunately, c'est pas là, mon vieux. And you go over here to the breakaway switch. This is a normally closed switch. We pull the breakaway in case the trailer comes off the truck. And now the brake should be applied from battery voltage. And the brakes are not applied. And we have smoke. Let's get the battery off. Quick, fast, and hurry. Perfect. Very quickly, uh, what we tried to do was melt all the wiring out of there. So there's gonna be some heat there. What we'll do is we'll get the IR gun, have a look, see what wires are still hot. Breakaway, still hotter than a $2 pistol. Brake wire, nice and hot. Oh, his brake wire is still good and hot. Yeah, the wires to the brake solenoids were super hot, including this switch, which is odd. You would think there'd only be one solenoid faulted. And what we can do now, I got the wire cut so we can check the uh, resistance in the brake circuit. See if the solenoid, one of the one or both of the solenoids, is shorted out. Want to lead on the ground meter in the ohms. And put our dingus end on that wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's your trouble. So one point, well, one point two would be ten amps. Ten amps for this little tiny trailer. Far too many amps. Rookie mistake. You gotta break the lugs before you get it off the ground. Unless you got yourself a ugga dugga gun with the proper oomph. Now, non-rookie mistake here. This will save you tons of, in the long run, it looks like it's a pain in the cunning wrinkles, kinda is, but you clean all the solidified Mother Earth Gaia off of them fine thread studs. And you give her a little shot of America's favorite libation, the wiener sliding. Make sure you point that towards what you want to shoot, just like a firearm. You don't point at what you don't want to kill. Okay. And that also gives you, affords you, the opportunity to see if any of the treads are buggered up, chowdered, and so forth. What the fuck? Huh. Colches? Oh. Huh. Sometimes uh, some nuts are tougher to bust than others. We got not a castellated nut, but a castellated lock washer. And then just a big old nut there. We gotta get that off and then take the whole hub off. Seems like it'll be okay. Sometimes on these drum brakes, there's a big ridge on the backside prevents it from getting off. You gotta heat and beat and swear and cuss. And 
Outboard bearings in good shape. Practically new grease. I still see the red tint of her. Drum's fine, seal's fine. Solenoid looks fine. What happens? This is a solenoid, all right? You energize the pixies, creates a magnetic field. A butt's up against here, and that causes the drum to expand. Eh, dustly. Still lots of meat on the pads, the uh, shoes in this case. You can see the bias here. The mechanism moves quite a bit more in the bottom than it does in the top. You can see that by the amount of wear on the shoes. All right, okay, we're getting here, we're getting here. We're at the juncture now of the trailer wiring forward, so between the hitch and here, and this one brake solenoid, and t'other brake solenoid. So what we can do here, and, and the trouble with troubleshooting is it's always the last thing that you fixed what fixes the problem. To the untrained eye, or rather to the trained eye, this is probably where I should have started. However, when you're troubleshooting, you don't necessarily know the system, so you have to break it down into itty bitty bits, what your little mind can comprehend, and that's what I did. And we're, as I said, we're, we're working through the problem. Now, if I were an expert in trailer brakes, I might have started here. In this near solenoid we got 4.2 ohms. In the far solenoid we got uh, 4.2 ohms. Uh, paralleled. That's going to give us half that. That's going to be 2.1 ohms. Much higher. So what is going on? Uh, and in the forward wiring, we should have infinite resistance. Yeah, there we go. So we're not shorted. Uh, what does that mean? It means one of these connections is janky and uh, short in the ground. Some words. Ah ha! Textbook shit house, faulty wiring burns you and all your ancestors right to smithereens. You see that there? No, you can't. Fuck. There we go. You can see that, no doubt. Shorted right out on the frame. Just give her a little nick, whoever put this in. Give her a little nick, just enough to open up. In the exact wrong spot. And uh, yeah, could have burned down your whole family. Tighten it up. Turn it. Loosen it off. Hand tight, turn it, Bob's your auntie. That is to say, that's what you should not do. What you must do is follow the manufacturer's recommended procedure. Yeah, yeah. I think we got her licked here, front to back. With greasy pigs, it's sometimes hard to tell which is which. This should be reading two point something volts here. We're running through both solenoids in parallel. Oh man, spectacles, testicles, wallet and watch. Recite with me now the NASA approved creed from, uh, well, for electromechanical contrivances after reparations are completed from turd herders to helicopter mechanics. Sing it with me now, folks. Fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. I don't want to paint anybody with a wide brush, but I don't think chicks get it. Yay, imaginary six-pack of beer. Yay.